My name is Dr. Ghassan Abu Sitta. I'm a plastic and reconstructive surgeon working with MSF. I'm currently at Shifa Hospital. The situation here is absolutely catastrophic. There is an impending public health catastrophe. There are thousands, if not tens of thousands, of people who have sought refuge in the hospital, in the grounds, but also inside the hospital, in the stairwells, in the corridors, in the wards between the patient beds. And there's a, you know, a breakdown in the level of hygiene because of the lack of water and access to water. These people are terrified of the bombing and they're right to be so. Today, a plastic surgeon uh, from Shifa Hospital who had just left his shift to go and check up on his family was killed with 30 members of his family. His name was Midhat Saydam. And he's not the only one. The staff numbers are dwindling because of uh, uh, the fact that some people can no longer get to the hospital safely. Some people have decided that they need to be with their families. And some people have lost families and some people have been killed. And so the functioning operating rooms is down. The Israelis are trying to force the closure of many hospitals, particularly in the north. And they're calling the hospital directors and threatening to target these hospitals in order to force a collapse. The Israelis are trying to force a collapse in the health system as part of the pressure on Palestinian society. There's over 150 patients who need to go to surgery and can't. And we're now seeing the consequences of delayed surgery in patients that have not been able to go to the operating room. My colleagues had to repair someone's face under local anesthetic because there is no access to an operating room because there are all, the, the, uh, all the available rooms and anesthetists were busy. The consumables are down. Water is in short supply, food is in short supply. Unless the humanitarian uh, community intervenes, unless there's a humanitarian corridor to supply uh, the hospitals and to evacuate the wounded, unless there's a cessation to the bombing, then this place is heading to absolute disaster.